All right, guys. So I'm back with another video. I'm just giving you all an update on this. I'll be doing the documentation here pretty soon, but I am going to call this done. So you'll see that the motions are uh, quite a bit more dynamic. Uh, I have a left-handed uh, pistol here. Uh, sometimes she stops real suddenly. I think that's the animation, the motion matching slash animation, uh, but most of the time that doesn't happen. I'm not really sure what causes it to stop so suddenly, uh, like one out of every 10 stops. Um, but yeah, you'll see that uh, the weapon is unequipped and then re-equipped whenever we traverse. And uh, that works for any weapon. And you'll notice that for the females, the females look more feminine now. Um, I did just notice that there was a, well, I don't know what happened to the, oh, it was, I had the other pistol holstered, my bad. I didn't even realize it, but yeah. So I've tweaked the crap out of the layering settings to try to get the best results. Um, there's a slight little lug jolt. I don't know if that's part of a uh, gasp or, um, or what I'll, I'll look into that later, but you'll see, we can, uh, layer two different layers. Now, um, this is actually being layered on, uh, 100% on the uh, left arm, and it's blending uh, the torso of that pose by 50%. And then the layering settings for this uh, arm are being only are only being applied to this arm. So that allows you to uh, stack uh, stuff on the left hand so that you can carry multiple objects in the hand and it'll still look good. And I've adjusted the crouching uh, layering settings too. So you'll see they look quite a bit better now as well. Yeah. And so that's the uh, female. So I'll go ahead and show you the other ones. I've done this for the other ones as well. And uh, the objects are treated as blueprints now. Uh, so that'll make uh, extending this a lot easier. Uh, the flashlight only has two poses. It has an aiming pose and it has a resting pose. So, so you'll see all the females have feminine poses now. Now, I actually spent more time on the female poses than I did the male poses. So if you see any discrepancies there, like on the males, then, I mean, feel free to fix it yourself. Uh, I'm not trying to be rude, but I just put two weeks of work into this update. So if anybody complains about it, I'm probably not going to take it uh, lightly. So we have this uh, widget, this uh, editor utility widget now. And, uh, well, I can't uh, fire because this doesn't have a fire function on it, uh, but I can switch over to uh, a pistol. And I can come over here and it records uh, the accuracy here. It only updates uh, these per item per hand. So the item in the left hand will update the left arm and the item in the right hand will update the right arm. That's why the right arm is not updating. Uh, so, um, yeah, so this assumes that there's zero uh, offset. 
So you'll if you have any offsets on your IK retargeter, you'll zero that out. Uh, fire this. You can copy this. And um, actually, I will uh, show you right now. So if I go to the UE5 Quinn M9, this is the left hand. And, I'm, and I already know where all this stuff is. That's why I'm just going to go ahead and go to it. Um, but if I just dock this over here to the side. And honest, honestly, I like to fire somewhere around the horizon. But if I zero this out and fire the gun, you'll see how inaccurate it is. I can control C this and then shift left click there and then fire again, and there you go. That's all there is to it now. It's very easy. Um, the widget is, well, I'll have to find the widget because I'm not exactly sure. I thought I put it in a uh, easy to find place, but apparently not. Oh, okay, it's under held objects widget. Yeah, so I guess that makes sense but I'm probably going to move it actually over into the blueprints folder. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's fine. It's just, it's telling me that because I have it docked over here. So the next time I open this, it may not be docked. Actually, it looks like it already closed it. So what you would do is you would go into this uh, widget folder under blueprints and you'll right click and run editor utility widget. It'll open this up. You can uh, dock it off to the side if you want, like that. And then there you go. So that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and save that even though I don't really need to, but I'll go ahead and start showing you the rest of these. You got your, uh, and yeah, I don't have it set up so that those get destroyed automatically uh, whenever you switch characters. Um, I'm, I'll probably fix that before I uh, push this update. It's just a matter of like adding uh, the destroy stuff to uh, the on destroy event for that character. And you'll see how accurate these guys are. And that's, it just takes one little click and boom, you have 100% accuracy. So this was uh, one of the people that uh, they kept, that I've had people complain about a lot. So I've uh, fixed his posture uh, the best I can. Now, this stuff right here, like uh, it looks real blocky right here. That has something to do with the way they weighted this character. They did a really, whoever weighted this character, they did a really poor job on weighting it. Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, that's probably why they gave it away for free. In fact, uh, if you look closely, uh, some of his arm is actually sticking uh sticking through right here and that's because they layered his clothes uh when they probably should have removed that stuff underneath that wasn't visible but they left it there and that's one of the reasons why the waiting is so bad uh because i think they tried to wait it so that uh, they could keep it layered without it sticking through but that's almost impossible so anyway if you see any problems with him, feel free to fix it yourself. I spent four hours fixing his poses so that you guys wouldn't complain. So like I said, if you have a problem with them anymore, then you can fix it yourself because I, I put a lot of work into fixing that so you guys wouldn't complain about it. So here's uh, the uh, Kellen guy. Yeah, so I can come over here and I can show you these guys. 
So I'm not, I don't think this updates if I switch characters. Okay, it does update. I but I wasn't sure if I had uh, uh, updated it, set it so that it would update, but it does. So there's the Oops, okay, so it didn't update right there. So, there we go. So I don't have it updating whenever uh, it switches from female to male, apparently. I'll probably fix that before I push it. All right, but yeah, so anyway. I mean, there you go, guys. I don't see why anybody would have any reason to complain anymore. Um, to be honest with you, uh, the females look a little feminine now. I mean, they may they may not look like super feminine. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think maybe they they might be borderline too feminine. Uh, so, um, yeah. That was about as feminine as I can make them. Uh, I kind of over-exaggerated it a bit, as you can see. But I hope that uh, appeases you guys. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get started on the uh, documentation now. Well, I'm going to try to fix those bugs first, and then I'll start on uh, the documentation. And I'll see you guys in the next video.